Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and the easy way to install your ESP32 to the Arduino IDE. And I think this is a most wanted feature for the Arduino IDE and the ESP32. So you don't need to install your ESP32 by command lines or what have you. It's just easy as all other Arduino or ESP8266 boards now. You just go to your preferences and insert in JSON URL and that's it. Let's start by installing the Arduino IDE and we just go to the Arduino webpage arduino.cc, go to software and downloads and choose the right or newest version that we want. In my case I used the 1.85 version for Linux 64-bit and I just press the save button and save the downloaded package to my local storage. This may take a while so I skip the download part a little bit. So after downloading the package I open a terminal, go to my preferred Arduino folder, in my case this is just the name Arduino, and then I extract the downloaded package. This can differ if you use other operation systems like Windows or Mac OS, but in my case I need to extract the package, so I use the tar command and the xv uppercase j and f and the name of the file, in my case this is in a download folder and is named Arduino 1.85 and so on. So now the package is extracted and after the extraction is finished we go to the now created folder named Arduino 1.85 and start the extracted install script install.sh and this creates just the desktop icon so we can start the Arduino IDE from the desktop. So after we start our Arduino IDE we can see that if we go to tools and boards there's no way to choose the ESP32 so we have to install another thing. And the information we need is provided by Espressive by their GitHub page. So we go to GitHub, Expressive and Arduino ESP32. And we can now follow the install instruction with the board manager files. So you can choose between the stable release and the development release. In my case I use or prefer the development release. Maybe it's a little bit unstable but sometimes there are some new features that I need in my projects. So just copy the provided URL and then go to the Arduino IDE, go to files and preferences and add the copied path to the additional board manager URL. Else. Then I need to close the Arduino IDE and just restart it. So the new board manager URL is read it while starting. And then we go to the tools menu to boards and the board manager. Now we can search for the ESP32 boards as you see and then just install it and wait a little while while the whole files are downloaded. So now we can go to tools and board and choose the ESP32 board that we have. In my case I have the ESP32 development board and check the other parameter like flash mode, flash size, partition scheme, flash frequency, if we have PS RAM and the upload speed and so on. So now I plug in my board to my USB connection and then we can see on the port we have the USB TTY0 port available. And now we can flash our first program. And I start by a small example. Go to File, Examples, ESP32 and choose just the simple LED C software fading example. So now I go to the arrow icon and just up 
upload the sketch to my ESP32 and before it's starting to upload, as you see, you can see all the compiling output in the lower part of the IDE window. And if we wish, we can also use the serial monitor from the tools menu to see what's going on on the ESP32. So I press the reset button and we can see the debug output. Or in my case, I have an other pin for my LED. So I need to change the LED pin from five to two and do the upload again. And now my LED is fading in and out. So thanks you for clicking my video and watching today. I hope you find this useful and maybe learn something. Give me some comments if you have some questions or some suggestions for making this video a little bit better. I wish you a nice day. See you next time and bye bye.